Uh, good morning everyone welcome to my channel second math hub the solution to your math problems Ghana teacher line sanction exams the subject area is numeracy we are still solving uh, past questions for the year 2022 question 26 a fish monger bought a basket of fish at 900 Ghana cities how much should he sell this basket of fish to get a profit of 30%. So even before we start solving the question, I want us to quickly uh, revise ourselves with the concept of uh, percentages with respect to profit and loss. Now, let's say you are a trader or a business personnel. Now, the aim of trading is to make profits. The aim of trading is to make profits. So let's say uh, you went to a manufacturer, you bought an item at a cost of so you bought an item from the manufacturer at a cost of 200 Ghana cities. Now, since you are a trader, you are interested in making profit. So it means that to make profit, you have to sell this item at a price higher than the cost price. So let's say you decide to sell it at a cost of... So you are selling it at a cost of 240 Ghana cities. So how much profit are you making? So you bought it from the manufacturer at a cost of 200 Ghana cities. You are selling it at a cost of 240 Ghana cities. So obviously you are making a profit of 40 Ghana cities. You are making a profit of 40 Ghana cities. Now let's focus on the selling price. Now, when you take a closer look, you can see that the selling price has two components. The selling price has two components. One, the selling price includes the cost price and again, the profits. The selling price has two components, the cost price and the profits. Now, when you sum up the cost price and the profit, that should give you the selling price. Let's verify and see. Now, the cost price of the article was 200 cities. We made a profit of 40 Ghana cities. So, what is 200 cities plus the profit? 40 Ghana cities. This is giving us. Two hundred and forty Ghana cities. So that is all that I want you to know. That the selling price has two components. The selling price has the cost price and then the profit. And again, when you sum up the cost price and the profit, that should give you the selling price. So that is all that I want us to take note of. When you sum up the cost price and the profit, that should give you the selling price. And from the analysis that we have done, it is true. The cost price was 200 CDs. The profit was 40 CDs. When we added the cost price to the profit, we had the selling price of 240 Ghana CDs. So we are going to apply the same concept to solve this particular question. So now, question 26. We were told that this fish manga bought. Uh, the fish at a cost of 900 cities and since he is uh, a trader obviously he will seek for a profit so what he's trying to do is that he want to sell uh, the basket at a profit of 30 percent meaning that 
after selling the uh, fish at a price higher than the 900 cities, he wants to make a profit of 30 percent. So, at what cost? At what cost should this fishmonger sell uh, the fish in order to make a 30 percent profit? So, solution. If you remember, we said that in percentages, the original quantity is equivalent to 100%. The original quantity is equivalent to 100%. When it comes to profit and loss, the cost price is always equivalent to 100%. Let's take note. The cost price is equivalent to 100%. So from question 26, what is the uh, cost price for a fish? So the cost price here was 900 Ghana cities. So we know that in profit and loss, 100% is equivalent to the cost price. 100% is equivalent to the cost price. So that is what we have done here. Now, this man, we are looking for a selling price. Say that. This selling price should make this trader make a profit of 30%. And if you remember from the analysis that we made, we said that the selling price has two components, the cost price and then the profit. Cost price and the profit. And we also saw that when you sum up the cost price and the profit, that should give you the selling price. So now, we know that the cost price in terms of percentage is 100%. And the profit here in terms of percentage is 30 percent so what should be the selling price in terms of percentage so the selling price in terms of percentage will be the cost price plus the profit the cost price plus the profit so what is 100 percent plus 30 percent so obviously that should give us 130 percent so if 100 percent is giving us 900 Ghana cities then this 130% must also give us a certain amount of money, of which we don't know. So how then do we calculate the money? So at this point, we can apply proportion. We can apply proportion, because we know that uh, if more, less divide. So 130 So during the exams, calculators are allowed. Calculators are allowed. So let's enter this information here into the calculator's memory. 130 divided by 100 times 900. So this is giving us 1,170 Ghana cities. 1,170 Ghana cities. So the right answer is D. Thanks for watching.